Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to show you my PC Instruments measuring device. It is a PH measuring device, the model name is PC228. And with this you can measure pH values because it is a pH meter. That is very interesting and I have already here stood by different calibration liquids. pH value 4, pH 7, pH 10 to calibrate the instrument properly and of course to clean the electrodes, the cleaning fluid. And how that all works I will show you now. So let us have a look at the measuring device from PC. The PC228. Here we have the device, we have under here I think 6 or 8 batteries which are delivered with it, they are put into here. Here it says AA batteries, 6 of them all together. We also have the possibility to fix it to a stand which is a very good thing. Or we are lazy and just clap this out and stand it on a table. Very clever, clever is as well we have here a login function. A delivered with a memory card SD with 4GB and here the data can be directly saved and then directly be evaluated with excellent be worked on. The whole thing can be connected to a computer with an old 232 interface and also a DC9 volt input. Means we don't need any batteries instead use the device over 230 volt. In the top area it is very interesting. Here we have for one the connection for the pH electrode and for the temperature feeler on the other side. When I've connected everything we can then have a look at the electrode. That is how they are delivered, this is what it looks like and it is very important that it is dry or delivered dry, it hasn't to dry out or it will be damaged and measured wrongly and that is why it is in a storage fluid that means we have now a new fifth fluid. As I said we have here fluids pH 10, 7 and 4 stood here and to the far left the cleaning fluid. And that here is a different fluid, the clean fluid. And then we have here as well the temperature feeler. So on by the PC228 is a detailed user manual delivered with it in German and also in English. And we get here for example the information on how to calibrate the device. I will show you that shortly. And we have also here many setting possibilities of the device. Here the area with the login, how the Excel table works, how it is written and saved and transferred to a PC. It is all here in detail. We have also for example settings like the key tone in it, but I have deactivated that. Just to note as well, the temperature electrode or the temperature feeler, you can use it, but you do not have to use it. You have the possibility, it is also inside, manual temperature compensation to do or automatically. By the automatic you have to put both the temperature feeler as well as the electrode into the fluid to be measured. Let us start the device and have a look at it. With a short touch of a key it is immediately there. We can see at the top area the value of 4.5. It steadies itself. That is the storage fluid, it has this value. And then we have a room temperature of 24 degrees. We can try to influence it here. When I hold it you can see that something happens, it reacts straight away. Something amps with the temperature feeler. Attention now it's getting warmer. So now I would say that is the setup and now we can look at the values and calibrate the device. As you can now see here, we have here a very lower acid lee value from 1.8 that comes from the cleaning fluid where I have just cleaned it. And now to do a measurement you have to take these two pieces. As I said we are doing an automatic measurement with the temperature feeler and the electrode. And now we dip both into this beaker. And then the value determine which we need. We want to do a calibration and for this we have here the buffer solution. It has a pH value of 4.0. Colour is red and has a tolerance of plus minus 0.015 by 20 degrees. Now we want to see what comes out of it. That is why I put both into it now. I move them around a little. And as you can see something happens to the right. 4.01 
That means simply that the device is perfect, or better said, the electrode for the pH value for this fluid calibrated is. With a dev deviation of 0.1, it's incredible. That is probably because of the temperature, because it is a little too warm. It is 21 degrees, that makes a small difference. You should watch that too, because by 20 degrees it should have 4.0. Correspondingly, the value fits so we do not have to calibrate. Let's have a look at the other two fluids. So the electrode is clean again and accordingly it has a value of 1.8 pH value. And now we can take a look at this green fluid. Green is a signal colour, so as the colour red, worn in acid, blue goes towards soap. That is why we have here green with a pH value of 7.0. And now we can look what sort of measurement comes out here. 6.67, 6.95, 7.0, That isn't an exact device and it is incredible. I doubt that we have to calibration at all, but we'll do a test by the blue one, the 10.0. I can move it around a little. 7.06, 7.07, 7.08. It settles down, I can blame the temperature. But really ideal and works very well. We know that this fluid has exactly 7.0, so it is correct. So and now let us measure the pH 10. So last but not least, the calibration of pH 10. Here we have in blue, but we have here different tolerance. Is it as plus minus 0.03 at 20 degrees? That is why I reckon we will have a different deviation. So now I put them both into the fluid, move the electrode, and we have 9.97. That is exactly the deviation of 0.03. And it is even better, 9.99. So more exact you can't measure. Despite this, to show you the calibration, how to set this value, when the value has a larger deviation, I will show you now. So the electrode have so to say reset, reset and cleaned. Now we can go to it. See here 1.89. I have again took the green one with the pH 7 fluid. Here we had the larger deviation. That is why the calibration is needed the most. But really needed it is not because let us see what a deviation we have. 7.7, 7.6. A little movement here. I think that is what it was before. Very small, but despite this, I would like to show you the calibration. For this, you have to push the hold key and rest key together. And then we come into the calibration mode. Here we can choose pH 7, pH 4, pH 10. We want to calibrate pH 7. Confirm this once with enter and the device is calibrated. And we know by the fluid we have a possible deviation 0.15 and there are two points after the comma rounded off to 0.01. Correspondingly is the device perfectly calibrated for our measuring. So for the first measurement we take 4 from the producer valley pro snow foam. And now I am very curious of the value. And the ele electrode is reset. In the cleaning fluid, as you can see, the pH value is 1.52 and feeler and electrode together into the fluid and disperse all of it a little. As you can see, it foams nicely. pH neutral to remind is 7. We have now a value of 6.07. Corresponding is that all in the direction of very, very sour. 6.07 I would not say is sour, that is why it is on the way to be sour. But not exactly pH neutral. So and now that we have made a measurement, I have naturally cleaned the electrode. For this, in the first step it is washed in flowing water, cleaning fluid and again washed under water to be sure. After every usage it is needed, so that a very good measured result comes out. Now we have here very tasty cola, and cola we saw at the beginning on my scale. 
should be between two and three. And I'm very curious what comes out of this now. Now we will test it. And yes, it is good. That is 2.1. It forms a little 2.2. It is very interesting to see how this device measures and what values come out. So that was all with the measurements with the PC228 from the firm PC Instruments. A very good measuring device with which you can very exactly measured values determine and verify. What we have seen through the calibration is that the device is delivered exact aligned, but despite this you have the possibility or should have the possibility after every test to check and maybe calibrate. Correspondingly a very good device, until the next video, bye.